doesn't want to answer how it chooses products for Amazon's choice and everyone is confused. Mm. Anyone know what, what Amazon's choice is? Yeah. Is it like yes. Sophie's Choice? It's like the top choice of a product you search, no? So it's like, like Amazon's, Amazon's like, this is what we suggest you buy in this this category, category. that you're looking for. Oh. Yeah. Is it like when you're about to put it in your, like shoppers also bought and then they package it? That no, one? it's like oh. it has a black, uh, like oh, a line it. across the top. It says Amazon's Choice, like got whatever it. you put in, like pencils, it'll have Amazon's Choice for pencils. I close on Amazon ever, but I, but like I do, if it's like a major, if it's a, Hundred dollar or more purchase, or maybe like a fifty dollar or more yeah. purchase. I definitely look at the stars, and then I go to the I go to the three star yeah, ratings because that's yeah. like the people that are like, here's the pros and cons. Yeah, and then I can decide if the cons. I'm like, I could live with that. Yeah, me that too. Happened. Yeah, I just I go down a rabbit hole, dude. I'll be there for hours, yeah. and then I just don't buy anything at all. Yeah, but that's how you live oh, life, so Jess. Yeah. You're, you're the too the, many you, choices, girl. You have yeah. to try and fail. There's always gonna be a flaw or someone that found a flaw in something. Yeah. So it's called choice overload. It that's is. That's what you're experiencing. It Wait, is. do you guys know what? you need to do you need to go and look up like puppy things and look at the customer pictures because then they put it on their dogs and then they post the pictures of their dog Wait, what like anything like collars and then you like scroll down and people put like the uh, collar on you their just dog have fun looking at the it's pictures fun. yeah I, it's like more like better than instagram like i'm just like oh, this is what i hate about shopping online especially when it comes to um like dishes or home decor I always fucking fail at this and I should learn my lesson, but I never pay attention to the measurements. That's oh. fucking funny. Oh, <laughs> never. Yeah. Like one time I wanted to buy some clear bowls, like mixing bowls, actually not that big. Like maybe like this big. What the fuck? Yeah, How'd you go you from here? Yeah. What the hell? I just remembered. Like, That's not a mixing bowl. <laughs> not a mixing bowl. What the bowl. fuck are you mixing? <laughs> Let me clarify, because as this was coming out of my mouth, I remembered what it was. Remember I have memory problems okay, right now. for ants? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, no, so what I wanted is like, you know the cooking videos? You know the cooking yeah. videos, how you have like the little dishes to like yeah. hold ingredients? The sous, sous vide, I forget what it's called. Oh no, just for like spices and shit, like cute yeah. little But not glass that small. Oh. So mise, not that mise en place. But they're That's like, they're, they're like about this big. Do they, they have, have little cultures? ridges? Mise en place. Do they Get have ridges? ridges? I don't remember. Really like glass with ridges? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I ended up buying a set of three because I thought they were like this big where I could put ingredients. They're tiny. But they ended up being this oh. fucking tiny, literally this tiny. Were you like cute? I was, you but then I got been. pissed. So I'm like, I can't fucking use this for shit because I already have the sauce thingies. Like I didn't need more of the sauce thingies. I feel like the pictures you could tell that it's gonna be. So no, they're so deceiving. Pictures. I've never been deceived. Or just look at the weight dimensions. Any. If they don't have customer pictures, you don't buy it. No, but then they'll do diameters, like, and I'm like, oh, I can't fucking bad. Oh, that's just so the, like the much. inches yeah. across. It's, it's like one yeah. centimeter across. Yeah. Oh, I can't tell how big this you're is gonna be. Look at Amazon. Wait, the customer pictures always. Outside of Amazon's choice, don't you always go with the Amazon Prime option? Because then you get free shit. Yeah. 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 I mean, you pay for it because you're paying a membership, yeah. right? Yeah. But it's but, also free. But sh just, it happens to me too often. And then another time, That's it wasn't even- That's bad, girl. It yeah. wasn't even Amazon. It was, <laughs> when, I forgot which company, but I was buying furniture. That's where I bought my bed frame and oh everything. Oh my God, please tell me you got something really fucking small. You got small. a tiny bed? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's like, ooh, $6. Yeah. No, so I wanted- Nothing this. wrong with this purchase. <laughs> so I wanted this sculpture of this old movie camera, <laughs> like the film cameras. Yeah. yeah. It was really, it looked really cool. And the fucking photos are deceiving because there's nothing to compare the size. Like She's like, two here. <laughs> <laughs> so I did measure that. So this time it wasn't my fault. I did measure it and it came out to be like, it was supposed to be a fucking decent size. How much did like, you pay? It was going to be. I can't remember. 20 bucks. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> it wasn't 20 bucks. <laughs> we said 20 bucks. It was not. Animal. It was not. It was like 50, at least 50 oh, bucks. For that I'm big? Like I'm yeah. gonna like, this big. I'm That's really cheap. It was 20 like... bucks and then the shipping and handling was 30 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. So um, it ended up coming and I was like, why? What was it, eight by 10? Um, it's upstairs, You've, I'm sure you guys have seen it. So it's like maybe like this and like this. That's 50 bucks. That's yeah. 50 bucks. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like, if you go to TJ Maxx, measure it. Anything How big is like it? over 100, yeah. at least 200. Like, it's yeah. tape measures. I measured it. <laughs> so I you, you pulled sure. out the tape measure and you're like, eight? yeah, that's what I was going to say. And if you don't no, know a diameter, true. like between yeah. a radius and a diameter, <laughs> she's like, oh, that's the one where you double it, right? Do you know which, which one is this? <laughs> she's like, yep, this is great. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> no, so yeah, I just, I, that's why I don't like shopping for I that I forgot which class it was, but my, one of my teachers was, uh, it, was psycho it was psychology before, before, I forgot what, but it was, we were talking about the difference in sexuality between male and female and how we, uh, our experiences are definitely different, right? Because of how we raise and how we look at things and just our biology. But she was saying like women tend to be more closer to the bi spectrum because what turns them on is very different from like guys can, we're simpletons. We're very rigid. Yeah. It's a yes you or can no. even see a guy in a yoga pants and if they look like a girl, we'll get hard. My yeah. theory about that is that you like the essence of whatever porn you're watching. So if you're watching lesbian porn and like uh, they're really romantic or they're softly, it's like very soft and caressing. Then that's it. How is it when you, when you watch it? You know, it? I say I watch lesbian porn, but then I realize it's not really even that. Like I just like watching a girl masturbate on her own just to watch it. Like, I don't even masturbate while I'm watching it, but then that turns me on, and then I get to town on myself. I put that shit away, and then I like it. Maybe because that liberated person that's having that intimate moment with themselves is like, it's like you can see yourself doing that. Yeah, you're unlocking mm -hmm. yeah. what your repressed sexual feelings yeah. by yeah. watching this yeah. person. Yeah, the repressed sexual Because I don't watch feeling. a guy jack off and go, fuck it, I'm gonna do that later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm like, where do I stand yeah. on that? Yeah. I don't know. Cause but it's like, weird, like, where I, I, I feel like, like I said, like, guys, experience and watch porn differently from women. Well, the first porn I watched was guy gay porn because I like I had tried having sex before and it hurt so much that the thought mm. of dicks going like rapidly going into a vagina was like fucking traumatizing. Mm. So, but I could watch two guys do it because it still had the dominance thing, mm. but it wasn't like I was getting hurt at all. You know what? That's probably what it is. So when you watch well, I can't porn, watch right? Two guys. Yeah. Well, well I can't it, it looks anymore. like two buffaloes anymore. fucking, right? When you watch two guys. But then if so you this was like the first experience I had. But yeah. but but if you, if okay, so like, if you watch porn, you know it's not for the female because you look at it and you're like that doesn't feel good no that's not true so then i watched gangbang porn now mm -hmm. um, and i watched the girl because i like to see her getting completely utterly dominated but oh. i would not like to be gangbangs mm. i just like the dominance see? feeling in there that she's completely getting dominated I and i like to watch guys fuck other guys while i sit there <laughs> and i i steal my fucking nerves and i watch it and and if i don't get a boner then i won <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm like, I fucking win again. And I'm, <laughs> and I'm like 100 for 100 on this show. <laughs> I only win. Yeah, I don't know. I can't even explain it because, yeah, like, I think the experience is completely just different. Dude, one time I was doing my experiment where I watched dudes fuck, and then I got, <laughs> I got a little bit hard, but then I talked myself out of it. Shut up. That's how good I am at this show. <laughs> it's like you work so hard at it. I'm good at it. Nice. I even watched- I barely get hard during that. I, I thought I was watching lesbian porn, and then the girl goes down, like they're kissing, and then the girl goes down, and then she starts sucking the lady's dick. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well. What am I, so what are my favorite jokes? So you're like, today well. I'm a girl. My, girl. my dick's a girl to Dude, me. one of my favorite Joe stories is he's watching uh, a gangbang thing, right? And then all of a sudden, he says, that, he says that a guy turns his head, and then another guy shoves his dick into the guy's mouth yeah. while they're fucking the girl. <laughs> and then Joe's like, oh! oh! I could have might as well for that one. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I just, it was like, it was like a threesome, right? And then the guy's like, hell yeah! And then they're doing it, and then the guy goes, oh yeah! And then he comes up and he grabs his buddy's dick and starts sucking it. And I was like, I didn't sign up for I this wouldn't, I wouldn't <laughs> like that either. I didn't sign up. I just up. always imagined this guy sitting in his room below with a blue glow in his face yeah. and then he's just sitting there and he's like yeah yeah and then he's like oh <laughs> that's exactly right yep i love it i didn't sign up for this shit nope. <laughs> a disgusting trend of people licking ice cream in grocery stores has gone too far i've been watching this shit oh fuck it's stupid. it's stupid it's crazy stupid i'm so glad because one of them is going to jail the lowest yeah. iq shit i've ever seen what are you allowed to do so if you can't lick ice cream, are you allowed to slap a watermelon at the supermarket? <laughs> of course you can. The only way you know if it's good. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. You, you don't slap it. It's not abuse. <laughs> you don't bite your, your lower lip and slap it to see if it's good? Yeah, it's a little, little. <laughs> No, don't do it like that. That's illegal. Oh, is it? Oh, you do it creepy. Yeah, that's illegal. What about the ice cream? What if you like gently rub? You just got to give it like a, yeah. But what if they're licking it to see if the ice cream is right? I've actually. <laughs> I've never talked to one. I don't know if that's if they should ban the watermelon slapping or they'll 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 eat samples. 
You know, like you take a cherry and you eat one. Oh. Well, women can slap it, but men can't slap it. No, just make eye contact. We look like a random stranger. You get a watermelon. You go. <laughs> Bam. That's tough. And then you gotta rub it too. That's a viral craze. There you, go. you have to lick these two fingers off. No, you can't lick your fingers and do it. That's fucked up. Stop telling me what to do. <laughs> She's gonna do it more. Remove it's it. wrong. Remove. No, we gotta tell all the kids that's wrong. The queen has spoken. You're removed. <laughs> Remove. Silence, peasant. I'm gonna do a social Silence. experiment video we'll where, where, where like you, you you lock eyes with someone and you go, <laughs> and then they're like, what the fuck? But then they're like, oh, you're just checking the watermelon. By the way, watermelon's on sale right now because it's season three bucks or five bucks per watermelon. Thanks, Dad. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> Get ready for it. That's I just stay in a brother's dad. Three dollars for a watermelon, baby. I don't even know how to pick a good anything. <laughs> even just like even peaches. You pick a good, you pick like a good partner. Oh, fine. I was, I was actually about to say that, Jeff. Yeah. No, because even like peaches, I'm just like. Mm-hmm. You know what this guy did once? people do that. So I let him buy produce. <laughs> he brought an entire fucking rotten cabbage. Oh, like, no. Don't you look at what the fuck he just picked? Like, it was all brown and rotten. On like, the what? back of it. <laughs> just like, I'm like, <laughs> so you did do that? <laughs> Nikki sent me to the store to buy her sandwich bags, okay? And, oh, that's hard. And There's the, a lot. And, oh, God, my heart broke the other day because I saw her packing a sandwich into a... A Ziploc bag that was as bigger than her body. Four? <laughs> it's like a two gallon. Like this fucking dude, because my stupid dumb fucking ass. You got I something like this? Deal. <laughs> it's big, no, Bart, it's twenty cents. It's one gallon. Dude. It's fucking this Wait, big. Dude. That was cheaper than a regular sandwich. <laughs> yeah, dude. What? I got a fucking deal. Why? I found a deal and I was like, dude, this is shit is fucking tight. Like, like this. <laughs> I was like, you get two of these, two of these boxes for oh five bucks. God. Whereas well, one of the two of these sandwich bag things, it's a smaller bag yeah. and it's more money. Did you say anything? So I thought I was fucking dunking on the backboard. But you this probably shit. didn't count how many bags. <laughs> Sandwich. <laughs> She's sticking a fucking sandwich in there, and then I'm like, "What the fuck are you doing? This is the biggest fucking bag I've ever seen in my life." And she's like, "I you sent you to get sandwich bags, and this is what you came back with." And I was like, "Oh my god, it's me. I'm the problem." And That's then, funny. and then she's like, and then she's like, and I also said you get sandwich bags another time, and you bought sandwich bags that fold over so they don't ziplock at the top. Oh no! That is the deal, though. That is the but cheapest. That was the, <laughs> that was the deal. Why it's her fault? Cause she sent you twice. You no, fucked. It's you. my fault. Oh. It's my fault. It's her fault. Cause I didn't get it either time. I got the deal both times. Well, the and first the, one is actually a sandwich bag. That's a that's a little sandwich bag. The one that doesn't zip. They should have a warning on the box that says that. Cause I didn't fucking know. They should have a person standing there so you can measure like how big the size. When, is. Dude, when you see warnings on boxes, they're for idiots like me who don't fucking know and they just read the deal. It's like don't consume this shampoo. Exactly. For our first story, this wife from India, she had been looking for her husband <laughs> and her, the father of her two children since 2016. She's a real bitch. <laughs> Scared him away. <laughs> oh. What if he got lost? The second part helped the first part. What if he got lost? Yeah. Impossible. What if it was a really sad story? I know, it's I a, a, there's a mean though. girl. Well, I hate to say this, but Bart is right. Oh, oh shit, I knew it. He was running away. I know <laughs> wives. So crazy. I fucking Sorry, know I wives and wives are horrible. I apologize. Not you. <laughs> like, save. I'm all smiling. I didn't even catch that until he said sorry. The wife species is very bitch-like. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> bitch-like qualities, yeah. I'm not talking about you. <laughs> yeah. You have to get to the root of why, though. It's uh, the husband's fault, because they're so can stupid. You, can you go back to the office? You're the disease. <laughs> I just got to say this. Did, he, did Bart tell you that he hit a car? With. No, he did not. Yeah, can you please explain how you hit this car? And then you'll we see why we become bitches. When did this happen? Articles in 20 minutes. I think everyone wants to know. No. I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I veto. I veto. No. Okay. Open another tap. Open off the record. We'll talk about that. Okay, good. Finish this one first. I'm not going to forget. So, yeah, he ended up leaving his wife and kids. And he was found because a family member of the wife was looking on TikTok and saw that he this was, fool was on TikTok. That was dancing? Yeah. I just picture like, goom, 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 goom. I picture that one Indian guy that does all the hip hop shit with the oh, gold he's chain. Amazing. Oh, he's amazing. Just soul. Yeah. Oh, the one that we used, you had the photo? Oh, no, 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 another one. No, he looks like him though, you but yeah. No I thought all Indian moms were sluts when I was a kid. What? Why? <laughs> but now you know that they're not, right? Well, no, so like, so. What? 
<laughs> my best friend that grew up on my street, uh, they all show their bellies. You know, like when they wear like the oh. traditional dress? Yeah, the socks. Well, like, the mom's like this, the grandma's like this, the daughter's like this, they're all like this. And I'm like, damn, this is a sexy ass Indian family. And <laughs> then, <laughs> so I was just like, they like really want to get it on all the time. Wow. Bart sees a pregnant lady with her shirt coming out of her belt and he's like, what a fucking slut. <laughs> a lot, you'll see, like a lot of them, the traditional wear, it's like this. Gio's face right now. 50 or 20. Can I go to that side? <laughs> Where you Welcome. Welcome. Come, 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 come join. Come join. Right here. Come join. <laughs> Where are you going? She I'm left. not. I don't want anything. They're a part of the boring world. You guys didn't have an Indian best friend. You don't know what I'm talking about. Wait, how old were you? Probably like nine or ten. I'm like, damn, this you is a freaky family. Better. You should have known better. What? <laughs> He's a little kid. Okay, excuse me. He's a little kid. <laughs> Go over there. Thank you, Steve. Listen, he's culture. When you're a kid, we're on the same you, side. You think all sorts of weird shit. I used to think that um, people who spoke another language just couldn't speak clearly, and I <laughs> and I was like, what's wrong with them? Why can't they just talk regularly? Like, is their tongue all twisted up or some shit? Yeah. Like I didn't know because I'm a stupid kid. I thought people that stuttered, uh, no, not stuttered. Oh, what's no. the what's the word? When people that go like c -c 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 stutter, stutter, uh, stutter. I thought they all did it on purpose. I, I thought that kids I actually did. I had that same thought because my little cousin, she would do it on purpose. Uh, for so, fun? For attention? Uh, yeah. She needs desperate for attention. I know, poor girl. She, I she, thought did, the, she needed love. I thought the kids in wheelchairs were lucky because they got to sit down all day. I thought that shit. I was like, hey. <laughs> I was like, that's so cool. My, my aunt told me that when she first encountered white people, she literally thought they were going, blah, 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 blah. Oh, talk. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> and she would try to copy them. That's my mindset. When I was yeah. a kid, I remember thinking exactly that shit. I'm going to slowly remove yeah. myself. <laughs> and I asked my mom that. All right, well, I hate to do this because this is a hilarious oh, shit, conversation. No, I want to stay on the offensive side. <laughs> oh, we got to move on to you the next story. Moving on to the next story. It's not offensive if children think it. So there was this oh, music festival in Detroit that's going to be held in August called Afro Future Fest. Afro future. Yeah, and so they are in the news because initially they had an early bird people of color ticket priced at ten dollars and an early bird non people of oh, color no. ticket for twenty dollars. So they were saying they were charging white people double the price. That's not cool. But if you're white, you can just show up in blackface and get cheaper. <laughs> oh my God. And that's that's where it actually makes a lot of sense to do. Or what it. about that? Little white, pole. What about that white lady I'm that was like field. a part of the uh, NAACP oh, or whatever? Oh, Rachel Dolezal. Or she was like yeah, yeah. black rights, but she's white. <laughs> she's like 100% white. Which ticket white. was she buying? What were they thinking? That's so rude. So I know, right? So they were saying. <laughs> that's so fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> so they were saying... What's rude about it? Is it bad to ask that? It's racist. It's discrimination. Like, why? Why are you trying to say... Why are you it's actually to illegal. Oh, it's illegal? Yeah, it's illegal. It's oh, it's illegal? Cool. Yeah. You can't like, I might have to I might have to pay the fucking... I mean, think about the white... Are, are you half... If possible? white people had a white discount... <laughs> but, but how come it's like adults can't go to Chuck E. Cheese, right? Yes, they can. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh, oh, you meant single males. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Adult, single male adults. I was, can't go I was like, there's establishments that already have this where, like, we only want the young people, the old people. I mean, I don't think they can turn you away like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh gaming streamer Belle Delphine, 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 uh, makes headlines again after selling her bath water. <gasps> this girl is genius. She's such a She was a, the porn hub girl, right? Yeah. She's amazing. I love her. Belle Delphine now is. Selling gamer girl bath water. Oh, she's so Damn. good. Yeah. I bet she sold out in she five did. minutes. <laughs> she sold out and she's selling it for $30 a jar. That's so funny. Good job, girl. Oh, I yeah. love So it. many baths. Yeah. How many <laughs> bottles did she sell, do we know? Um, Because it'd be a genius if like, so a bathtub can only hold, I don't know, maybe like 200 gallons or 300 gallons. So maybe there's like, I don't know, 600 Maybe bottles. she took multiple you know baths. You know what's like genius? there's like 50,000 bottles. Is that she probably didn't even bathe in that water. It's just fucking yeah. water that was put in there. But then and if you're, you're, a, if you're an internet pool. nerd, they're going to go, this doesn't smell like her pussy. Nope. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly how many she had in stock, but they did. I did read on one of these stories that someone actually took that water, put it under a microscope, and determined that there was no human DNA, so there should be a class action. You called it! Oh, <laughs> fucking nerd ass fucks. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. You know what the fuck? I would never admit that shit. <laughs> 
if I got it under an electron microscope and I was like, there's no human DNA here. This is the problem with the people who buy the bathwater. You're literally waiting for, for an Amazon box or whatever the fuck to come, and then you sit there and you open it up, and then it's a jar of ba Belle Daphine's bathwater, and then you're like, Good. <laughs> Good. She does say on her on her website for sentimental purposes only. You know what would help me brainstorm? Because I think for guys, like since we don't have that many like predators that want like a piece of us so bad, for you chicks, was there a, a idol that you guys had when you were in? Junior high, that Leonardo like, oh, DiCaprio. I wish I had like a lock of Leonardo's hair. Sure. I never got to that, that state of I mind. I never got to that state of mind either. Oh, oh dude, my cousin's practically humping magazines over that guy. <laughs> dude, back in that day, yeah, fuck, man. All, all the chicks that I knew. Do you get weird requests? Yeah, because K pop fans are like crazy. Yeah, some people like say like if I farted in a bag and like that's pretty intense. <laughs> Which is like I, like that's not far from the flattering, <laughs> but like K-pop farts. Oh, wanna, my farts don't smell, by the way. Ooh, I, I don't I farted, believe it. I farted so many times, but you can ask my roommates. <laughs> I farted so she many times. You farted right now. Yeah, I probably farted right now. <laughs> that doesn't smell anything. Yeah. It smells like flowers. <laughs> If a smelly one comes, I'll let you know. I'll, I'll be sure to bag it and bring it. <laughs> I'll rub it in your fan's face. <laughs> I think I could actually sell that because, you know, like, there's so many comments. They're like, oh, Bart's fart oh, just doesn't yeah. smell that bad. You legit mm. could sell your fart. I think I probably could because there's just. Yeah, it's like a hot sauce it. challenge. You know how they fart can fart air? Challenge. Like how they're able to can air? Yeah. To can your fart. actually pretty interested. If I made Bart's fart, how many of you guys would get it? I'm pretty sure you would sell it. Start a pre-sale, then you'll really yeah. know. Because everyone's going to go, me, 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 me. Yeah, do yeah. a pre-sale. But I don't even know oh, any, dude. I don't even know any like white label fart we'll makers. <laughs> no, it has to be your, you my real. Just, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't just say that you're going to give them the farts and then That's admit funny. that it's not real. Well, I got to sell a billion of them. So I'm trying to figure out, is there a billion? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you better actually. Who do you think you are? There's people. So if I'm a collector, do you know how many Uncle Sam has? All of China and shit. <laughs> no, because when I when I uh, when I buy things, if I'm gonna collect it, I would always buy two. So I just want to be ready for it. Like one, I'm sure people are gonna. Go, oh, I have to smell it. Okay, this is this fart, and the other one they just want to put somewhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I wonder how we could even show. create a fart factory for you. <laughs> Fart factory. Farts, fart you just factory. have to stick a tube up his ass. <laughs> and then yeah. have it funnel like in a can. Yeah, a bunch of protein shakes. What do I, like, what do I eat masks. that makes me fart the most? Beans. Eggs. Eggs and protein. veggies. Eggs and veggies. Yeah, like protein powders. Yeah. So instead of getting ready for like a competition, we got to get them ready for the fart factory. There you go. Because we, yeah. it's like, what if we start getting all these orders? And if we're going to sell a billion, dude, that's just, that's going to retire us from JK News. Yeah, yeah. It's an emerging market. You could sell um, <laughs> your dirty ass feet. You could like put that on a white piece of paper. <laughs> like a baby yeah. footprint, yeah. but it's just yeah. sell that and just fucking dude, autograph. I got a blister over a blister. That's oh, disgusting. Shit. Oh my God, cut those pieces of blister no, off. Cut that one layer off and then so, another form <laughs> underneath that layer. Damn. At put it on his story the other day. Do you sell any merch? Just shirts and hoodies and stuff. The usual. The usual. I try not to freak people no out. Burgers? You don't sell any burgers? No, not yet. <laughs> Amber's burgers? <laughs> you can sell all your used monster cans. Or oh. Rock oh. Cans. oh, your stones. You got it. Oh, your stones. Oh, my kidney stones. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty strong. Very oh, strong. that's going to be like the fucking. You can sell for like a million dollars. Those are collectible as hell. Cause, cause those don't come very often. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you could only sell one. They're painful to make. Yeah, cause we have painful. a piece of the the Berlin Wall. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you can sell. I have that too, time. actually. You can sell your stones. I like it. I'm into it. Why do you collect that? There's so much pain in that piece of stone. Uh, but it's we're looking at it positive, positively. You know what I mean? It's the what was positive about it? That it's gone. Yeah, they yeah. tore it down. Ugh, that's like, hey, it's I have a piece of brick from the Holocaust. Yeah, it's history. Like, yeah, no, it's like, German. It will never come together because I have a piece of it and other pieces over there. So like, it can never be like. Exactly. What is the gift shop what? like at a Holocaust? I know, right? Is that like? A Did you hear what, what Amber said? No. It's beautiful. It's poetic. <laughs> Sorry.